All right, so this is going to be a video tutorial that's going to cover installing IRX 6.522 on a silicon graphics O2 R5000 workstation, little 180 megahertz processor. We're going to do it on a little 4 gigabyte hard drive that's never been partitioned or uh, formatted. So going to need a total of seven discs to be able to complete this installation. We're going to need overlays one through three. We're going to need the foundation one and two. We're going to need the applications. And we're going to need the NFS. We're going to cover the installation of the operating system in three parts in this video tutorial. We're going to do part one is going to be the partitioning and formatting of the hard drive, which is probably the most difficult part. Part two is going to cover everything before the go command. And part three is going to cover everything after the go command. Alright, so from the prompt monitor we're going to go ahead and hit uh, the enter the command monitor icon. And here we're going to go ahead and type boot space minus F D K S C parentheses 0 for the SCSI controller, 4 for the CD-ROM, and 8 for the location on the CD-ROM. Sash, capital R, X, space, D, K, S, C, parentheses, 0, comma, 4, comma, 7 for the location on the drive on the CD-ROM. Close parentheses, stand, forward slash, fx, period, arcs, all caps, space, minus, minus, x. Now it's going to go ahead and uh, start the standalone shell. It's going to ask you for the device name. You hit enter. Controller is zero. Disk is one. And do a self test. So we go OK. At which point in time here you can choose to do um, an expert type repartitioning of the hard drive, or you could just type A for auto. So the machine is asking you, that, hey, you're about to destroy all data on the disk. Yes. And so now it's going to go ahead and format and partition the hard drive. So after the machine is done auto, form, uh, auto partitioning and formatting the hard drive, you're going to see the following display on the on the command monitor. You're going to see something that's going to say sequential pass 1, and it's going to have a number 0% to 100% when it's all done, and then it's going to do a butterfly pass 0 to 100%, and this is probably going to take between 45 minutes and an hour and a half, depending on the size of your hard drive can take up to a longer uh, time depending on how big your hard drive is as well and how fast the machine is. Uh, so then it, uh, it writes the label, it says info to uh, to 010 and then it says done, at which point in time you go ahead and type in exit to exit. Type in EXI and then it's going to restart the uh, command monitor and it's going to go back up to uh, the prompt uh, menu and from this point you can go ahead and start your software installation